3D Safari Africa and with Hunter Ellis, a 2011 release, a 90 minute film, 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Sound is, I think it's stereo, it's not even mentioned on the disc. This is 7.0 on International Movie Database. 16.9 aspect ratio, beautiful big picture, directed by David Keane, who also directed City Slickers, uh, starring Hunter Ellis. This is, uh, this is Hunter Ellis right here on the front, that smiling individual right there that makes you feel so comfortable on this safari. This takes a, a place across three nations, Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. However, as he goes through these nations, you'll, you won't, he's not gonna mention when he's into that next nation. I did miss that about this film. Uh, I wanna say this, this is one of the best safari films I've ever seen. One of the most, uh, just absolutely gorgeous. The music score, absolutely perfect. This guy, Hunter Ellis, he's just, he's always smiling. He always makes you feel like you're supposed to be there with him. Um, these, everybody, he's accepted by everybody. He's accepted by these tribes and everything. He's accepted by the animals. Uh, when he's there talking, he's standing on the back of his Jeep and in the background, he's talking about cheetahs, and then in the background, 20 yards away, is uh, a cheetah with her mom pups. You know, just 20 yards away. He's right there. He's right there with all the animals. He's so accepted. That's what makes this so different. And he takes you with you. And so you like, you feel like you're right in there with gorillas, cheetahs, lions, rhinos, elephants. He's petting elephants. You feel like you're right in there being accepted by all these animals. Just an absolute fantastic time. A good break from all the action films. You want to get out and just get a break and, and have a nice safari. You got it right here. Let's talk about the 3D now. The 3D is absolutely gorgeous. Incredible sweeping vistas, incredible depth. Okay, there's no pop-outs here, folks. You're not gonna see elephant trunks sticking out. You're not gonna see rhinoceros horns sticking out. And it's not here. It's not here. That's not what this is about. This is all into the window. This is your standing looking into a window and you're looking across the savannas some time lapse, some beautiful time lapses here. Uh, the nice, crisp, sharp detail, the animals. Every now and then there'll be some grass up front to help give you that 3D definition. That's not really necessary. The window look, the window aspect is so good. Uh, you feel like you're right there with him. That's how good the 3D is in that respect. Um, if there's anything I can say about this, the colors, at, that, that's not good, you know. Uh, the colors seem to me at times were a little muted, more pastelish than uh, saturation seemed a little low at times. And the, uh, oh, it, now, I don't want to say it was green. The resolution could have been better at times, but then that depends on what cameras they were filming this with. But none of that took away from the overall uh, aspect of this film, the overall 90 minutes that kept me in this movie. And I was going to put it in, like I said, for 20 minutes and then turn it off. But man, I just couldn't turn it off. And the sound score is perfect. I mean, you hear the sound score, it's absolutely perfect. And it's dialed up and toned down. Sometimes there's no sound at all. Sometimes where you just need to hear crickets, there's crickets, which really makes it nice. It really makes you feel like you're there. And you know, the Sky Hunter, I gotta tell you, the way he blends it with these people, and this tribe here, they took him in, this tribe took him in, they made him do this ritual. Uh, with this robe and stuff and have to do with some blood and things like that which is the way they took them in it was just incredible so anyway that's my take on this uh on 3d safari africa i'm going to give it for african safari films i got to give it a five folks i just have to uh the 3d i'm going to give it 4.5 out of five why i'd like to see uh, some stick outs i would like to see that I, i'm that kind of a person but other than that you don't need it it's absolutely gorgeous. So that's my take on this film. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to have an announcement on my 3D giveaway uh, coming up in October. Uh, so what did you think about this film? Uh, did you see it? Did you see it in 3D? Did you see it in 2D? 2D copies on here as well on one disc. Let me know your thoughts on this film how it compares to other documentaries that you might have seen or documentaries that you might have seen on Africa. This is one of the best for me, all right? So look, hit that like and subscribe button. I want you to have a great night. I want you to stay safe. As always, God bless.